Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a ban command where pretty much, you, well, y'all know how it looks. You type ban, a prefix, ban, then the player's username, and they ban from the game. It's that simple and stuff. At the time I'm recording this video, it's April 1st, so happy April and stuff like that. This is the first video I'm recording for the month of April, so I guess happy April. Y'all really won't be seeing this video until like the second week of April, but shit, it don't matter. Uh, still happy April and stuff like that. And I hope y'all having a good day and stuff like that. I want to say thank you guys for all the love and support. We already at 670 subscribers at the time of me recording this. Most definitely by the time y'all watching this, I will probably be at 700 and stuff. So I just want to say thank you for the love and support. I really appreciate it and stuff. But yeah, let's get straight into it though. What's it called? So first things first, uh, what's it called? You guys need to make sure data store, like data store permissions are enabled or access to API services or whatever is enabled via game settings and stuff. If you don't, if you don't know how to do that, uh, I have a video link or not linked, but like, well, actually, yeah, kind of linked at the end of the video showing you how to turn it on. It's like a one minute video. It's real quick. Or if you just want to know, uh, how it, how to do it, you could just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll just explain it to you then. Or there, I should say. But yeah, let's get straight into it, though. All right. So of course, we're gonna insert a server script to server script service, right? Let's go ahead and insert that, and then we can call this our ban script, right? Let's delete pre hello world. And first things first, of course, we're going to make a band data store. So let's say local band data store equal to game calling service data store service colon get data store band data store right or band users well whatever you guys can name whatever y'all want but yeah then we're going to skip two lines and we're going to do game dot players dot players added colon connect function in parentheses we're going to put plr then press enter then we're going to say if player oh sorry First things first, you need to get the data. I'm sorry, guys. Let's just get the data first. So let's do local data is equal to band data store get async. We're going to use the player's user ID, right? When we ban players, we're going to. So pretty much the way to really put this is this. We're saving the ban data to their usernames, but the command will ban them via their usernames, if that makes sense. So, yeah. So yeah, anyway, so we're gonna do if data, then player kick, you are, oh, not where, you are banned, right? So this pretty much means if if the game detects or if the script detects that the player has any type of band it and data, data, whatever, um, then it'll kick them with the message you are banned and stuff. To pretty much clarify or explain, I should say, the only reason a player should have any type of banned data is if they are banned. You literally will not have any type of data if you are not banned and stuff like that. So yeah. So let's press enter, skip two lines and stuff. And let's now we type the actual command. Let's say player dot chatted colon connect function. In parentheses, you're gonna type MSG, which is short for a message, then enter. And then we're going to say if message or actually first let's make let's make a table for allowed users right because we don't want everyone using the command so let's go up here and press enter let's say local allowed users is equal to let's make a table and then you're going to put the people's usernames you want to have permission to use the command here right if you want to know how to do multiple you just do a comma then boom but yeah so then we're going to say if player or no if table that find allowed users player dot name then we are going to split the message by doing local um uh, I guess local command I guess I guess we'll say yeah I'll say that local command is equal to um what is it string dot split or sub I forgot sub yeah yeah, yeah sub message and then we are going to split it and do one so first thing first you put the message right the string pretty much the message then you put the starting 
uh, what is it? Character? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the starting character. So we want it to be the the first character to however long the command is. I know that kind of doesn't make sense. Okay, let me put it like this. Okay, so characters, right? This is three characters. Each one is one character, right? So if your command is colon ban, that's four characters. If your if your command is just ban, that's three characters. You get what I'm saying? Pretty much the amount of letters or numbers in the word, pretty much. And but also keep in mind it does count spaces though. So yeah. So we're just gonna have four because I'm just gonna do colon ban. So oh sorry, we're gonna do one four. And it'll stop counting after that. So if command is equal to ban, then local user is equal to string. We're gonna do the same thing but a little different. String dot sub message. And then we're going to get everything six and after. Now we're doing this a little differently, right? The reason the reason why we're not doing five is because five will be the space the space between the command and the username, right? That's why we're going straight to six. And the reason why we're not putting a second number is because we don't want to put a limit on the amount of uh, characters it's going to type because we're looking for a player's username. So it could be their username could be f four characters, ten characters, twenty characters, but obviously it wouldn't be like. 30 or more characters, but still, you guys get the point. So, yeah. So, then we're going to say for IV in pairs, game.players, get children. We're going to search players and see if the username matches anyone in the players. And, we're gonna, and then we're going to say if v.name is equal to user, then v colon kick. This one, the autofill, by the way. You have been banned, right? And then right up here, right before the kick, we are going to update the, the data. So ban that store set async. You put the key, so v dot user ID, comma, and then value of banned, right? Pretty much we're just setting them as banned. And pretty much by doing this, we'll have we'll be giving the player ban data, so it'll kick them or something like that. So yeah, we can go ahead and test this. Oh, oh, sorry guys, sorry, I completely forgot. When I was testing this prior, like before I actually recorded the video, I forgot I already did this to myself once. Okay, I'm just gonna change the name of the data store. But anyway, well, I mean, at least now we know it works. But anyway. I hate when Studio does this. Okay. Play. Alright. Okay. Ban Spy Genetine. There we go. You have been banned. You kick me from the game. Now if I try to rejoin, pretty much it's like the first time you guys saw, it'll kick me from the game. Server kick message, you are banned. You are banned. So yeah, there you go. Um if you guys want a part two on how to make an unbanned command, I gotcha. All you gotta do is let me know. And yeah, if you if you're if you have questions on like using your method to like detect if a player has uh we'll say authorization to use the command, if you want to use a different method aside from a table, like you want to use group ranks or stuff, let me know. I got y'all. I got y'all. Honestly, I probably have videos explaining how to do it because I have videos for almost like really anything to be completely honest with y'all. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Links to join my Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description. Help us get to 200 members. And yeah, I'll see you guys. Appreciate y'all for watching.